Hi, my name's Simon Hater, and today we're going to be exploring how to install uh, the Steam CMD dedicated server, which will allow you to run uh, your own dedicated server in Linux, uh, in this case Ubuntu, uh, which will, you'll be able to run games such as Counter-Strike 1.6, Counter-Strike Source, Day of Defeat, and all the other vast amount of games they run on the Steam CMD network. So uh, let's not waste any time. As you can see, I'm using Ubuntu 14.04 LTS codename Trusty. Um, it, this guide will work on 12.04, 11 uh, 11.04, 10.04 I think and so on. So it's it, I'm going to label the video 14.04 but if you haven't got that version then this should work uh, as well if it doesn't let us know in the comment and I can adjust uh, what I say and uh, what not so let's not waste any time let's jump straight in so as you can see I've logged into Ubuntu uh, the first thing we want to do is run sudo apt hyphen get update type in my password And let that do it. It's not actually updating. All that's doing is making sure it's got the latest re repository update. So uh, when you do run an update, it's getting the latest version. So as so to speak, it's not downloading any updates. It's just updating the library of the updates. But uh, anyway, that's now done. So the next command we want to do is... Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that you've got uh, everything I'm doing so I've done an upgrade previously but by all means do this uh, sudo apt hyphen get upgrade so you might have a vast amount of upgrades to do uh, just let it go it normally takes about five minutes now the next thing we need to install is a thing called lib32 gcc1 and another um, application called libc6 i386 now a lot of guides on the internet um, say to install ia32 lib um, do not install that there's absolutely no need it will just uh, bloat your um, Ubuntu up so don't install that all you need to do is sudo apt get uh, install lib32 gccc1 and then space lib c6 oh, lib c6 underscore oh, hyphen even i386 and what this does is allows us to run because the dedicated server um, supplied by steam is actually 32 bit so it's with Ubuntu server it's 64 bit so uh, when you run the sh file later on you'll get an uh, it'll say uh, do, does not recognize or something like that so if we install this we'll get rid of that error so let's install those okay fantastic that's done I'm gonna clear the screen keep it nice and tidy now the next thing we want to do is uh, sudo add user steam the reason we add a user is we don't really want to run um, Steam on a user within the sudo group which allows administration rights and we also don't want to do it on root so we're going to add a user and add a password you can even go one step further I won't cover it in my guide but you can also make sure that a Steam user can't log in via SSH and uh, FTP if need be but anyway so that's done when it asks for the full name you don't need to enter all that is this correct perfect so that's added let's clear that screen now what we want to do is log in via that user so SU Steam type in our password now as you can see, uh, see I'm still in the home directory of test which is another user account so I need to come out of that just do cd space uh, space dot dot so we go up a level do ls we can see steam so cd steam now what we want to do is make a folder um, so mkdir steam cmd now what we want to do is download 
the platform uh, Steam uh, CMD. So first of all, we need to go into our folder we just created. So Steam CMD. We want to type wget http dot dot forward straight forward straight media dot steam powered dot com forward stroke installer forward stroke steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz hopefully i remembered that fantastic that's downloaded so if i do an ls yep we now see that folder uh file even so let's clear that now what we'd want to do is extract that uh zip file which is tar space hyphen xv zf space steam cmd underscore no what have i done there we go steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz for it looked with so let's run that as you can see that extracted nice for nice and fine so let's do ls yep you can see so let's remove uh steam cmd now the the f just to keep it nice and tidy dot tar dot gz so rm will remove now what we want to do ls make sure that's removed let's clear it let's uh run the steam cmd so um dot forward stroke steam cmd dot sh that will download any updates it needs to do okay fantastic now you'll notice at the bottom here it hasn't actually um, it's now saying steam this is because we're now in the steam cmd console so we can do uh, some commands so the first thing we want to do is log in uh, type login space anonymous I believe some games do uh, require you to log in via uh, a proper authentication but the games will be adding do not so let's do that login anonymous and there we go connecting anonymously to the steam public successful so fantastic so we first need to inform our Steam console where we want our Team Fortress dedicated uh, server to be installed to. Uh, so we do this by typing uh, force underscore install underscore dir space dot forward stroke. Now you can uh, name it anything you want. I'm just going to name it TF2. Don't forget the forward stroke. And now now that we've told our console where we want it we now need to tell it to download it so let's download team fortress 2 dedicated server by doing app underscore update we then need to type in the id of this which is 232250 and we're going to validate it as we download as it's a fresh install which is recommended Let's give it a few moments to find the files there we go I can roughly estimate that's five gigabytes it needs to download um, so that's going to take quite a while if you are if your server is in a data center then it should be extremely quick um, I've only got about 80 megabits at home so five gig would take about 10 minutes I'm not going to let you wait so I'm going to pause the video and resume it um, so you can so you don't have to wait so that's all done now as you can see on my screen I've downloaded the whole lot and it says success app fully installed so what we need to do now is quit out of uh, the steam console let's do a clear just to keep it nice and clean um, do an ls as you can see our team uh, team fortress 2 folders there so let's go into it Ooh. do an ls let's go into TF which is Team Fortress and that's it again and I'll just show you this folder this is where you can come back and set up uh, custom config so if I do LS you can see you can uh, where it says default just uh, rename that from uh, so it's mapcycle.txt and the server will automatically pick it up also if you make a, um, a server side uh, sorry a server.config which is don't need to do sudo do pico 
server.cfg if you actually make your own uh, import your commands plenty of uh, help tutorials online how to make your own server.config but if you make a server.cfg in this folder um, it, when you execute the server it will automatically pick that up same as message of the day if you rename that uh, to motd.txt uh, um, you can rename it or just copy it like this uh, so motd uh, we're not doing the underscore default yes we are because we're copying that and we're going to name it uh, we need to name it dot motd.txt let's edit that file quickly just to show you what's in there so as you can see uh, welcome to team fortress 2 you can name it whatever you want whatever you want see clan name welcome to clan name your going to die whatever exit that save it now if we come out of there I'll just show you how to run the server so the folder you want to be in is tf2 and the way we run the server is uh, dot forward stroke cr cds underscore run space hyphen game tf for team fortress plus let's do pure lots of tutorials online how to set up um, a cron or add it to the boot up so it does this automatically for you but to be honest good VPS's and dedicated servers they don't need to be rebooted a lot so this may be uh, good enough for you you can run it using uh, screen 24.bsd so we're specifying the map here you, you can also miss that out a little use this map cycle uh, but however you do need to get rid of the default as I've mentioned so uh, back to where we were so uh, we specify the map we want to specify the players so max players let's put 24 and hopefully we don't get any errors Oh, it has actually picked up the, the map cycle default.txt, so you could just edit that. If you want to suppress these messages, though, you can, if you do rename it uh, from uh, get rid of the default, it will suppress these messages. Same with server.cfg, which I mentioned earlier and there's another one there as well so as you can see I've now uh, signed on anonymously uh, I've got a Steam ID I've also it's detected my external um, IP address and the server is now running let's quit out of that clear that now the Steam dedicated server does use uh, some ports uh, Ubuntu uh, comes with the ports open so we don't need to worry about that if you're running it in the data center uh, you're pretty much good to go and have fun if you are running a home server um, and you do have a router such as a Netgear, D-Link, Buffalo, uh, BT Infinity, Home Hub etc we need to open those ports so the first thing we need to do is type in ifconfig we can see that that is my internal IP address so I then want to head over to my um, browser and log, uh, log into the router which I have done so um, now you're looking for something like NAT or it might be in security depending on what uh, brand of router you got in this case I'm using WDWRT and what we want to find is port range forwarding now I've already entered this in which is Steam CMD you can name it anything you want uh, not all routers allow you to name it um, some of them even have the profile uh, half-life which uh, most of the times opens the necessary ports so if you don't have that option we want to open 27, uh, 27,000 to 27, uh, 27,040 protocol both and type in the IP address off the internal local machine if you've got a checkbox make sure you click it click save and click apply settings after that, you should be ready to go and have fun. I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.